A little bit closer, I've got a secret. After three long years, we're going back to Japan. If you're new here, we are the Kazmas. We post videos about food, family, travel, everything in between. Um, and from here on out, we're gonna be posting every Friday. So make sure you subscribe to keep up with what we're doing. So as you guys can see from the title of this video, we're very excited mm. to be heading back to Japan. A country that really stole our hearts the first time we touched down on our first trip. No wonder, seeming it's the land of ramen and sushi. Of course, and sake. and sake, of course we fell in love with it. So after an extremely long three years and a global pandemic in the way as well, we are finally ready to pack our bags and head back off to Japan. So what you guys got to do, if you want to keep up to date with our whole Japan series, if you're seeing this video and you want to keep up to date, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel comment any recommendations or anything you have for us to do when we touch down in Japan because that video of us taking off and landing in Japan is only around the corner. Mm. Within the next handful of days, it will be up, it will be ready to go and we're super excited about it. So our last trip in Japan was 2019, so a couple years ago. We were only dating for a couple of years then, so it was our first big overseas trip together. Yeah, there'd been a, since that trip, there's been a lot of big changes oh, in our yeah. lives. Yeah, so when we landed back in Australia, we got talking about going on another trip instantly over there. And then 2020 happened, we a thing that can't be named. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and we had originally booked flights already to do another trip, but couldn't go. So it's been postponed up until now. Yeah, and essentially we, four weeks prior to takeoff, we were pretty much decided that we just weren't going, that it wasn't gonna happen. The Japanese government wasn't gonna open up in time mm. for us to actually you know, head off on this trip. But one, like it was like a Tuesday morning or something, Brooke sent me a post on Instagram going, hey, guess what? It's open, they finally announced it. And they just happened to be fully opening up to international tourists completely mm. about three, two, three weeks before we leave. Yeah. So perfect timing to say the least. Yeah, so I'd convinced Ryan to look into the budget, the family budget and see whether we could go and what it kind of looked like because obviously Ryan's working, I'm currently on mat leave. Um, and then we had another issue which was our daughter Mia doesn't have a passport yet because she's only six months old. So that was another thing of we had to see how fast we could get that. We were a bit worried about getting a brand new passport issued in time for us to fly. So it was a bit of a, you know, mad goose chase sort of thing where we actually had to drive all the way up to Brisbane to lodge a priority passport, mm. had to pay the fee. Uh, mm. Australian government just doing these ones over there. <laughs> and essentially, after paying the money and doing the trip to Brisbane, we got it in time yeah. with a couple of weeks to spare. So yeah. it was definitely worthwhile because if we didn't pay the extra and do the priority, I think we would have been cutting it pretty fine. Mm. So our plan this trip is to leave in a couple of days, but it's about mid-November that we're gonna arrive in Japan. So we're flying into Tokyo, then having a couple of days there, going to Kyoto, having a couple days in Osaka as well, and then back to Tokyo before we fly out. Yeah, so our total length of trip is mm -hmm. about 21, 21 nights, I'm pretty sure. So three weeks, so it's actually a really nice stay. Mm -hmm. Last time we were there, we were only there for about... Not even two weeks. Yeah, not even two was. weeks. And it was enough to scratch the surface, but this trip we're really looking forward to getting into the nitty gritty mm. of the city. Mm. Nitty gritty of the city. <laughs> and we've got Mia, our baby as well. So we thought we need to slow things down a bit, do a bit more mm. family orientated things. Yeah, and good opportunity to travel a bit slower, live a bit more like a local rather than just hitting the bucket tourist list. Attractions. Yeah, tourist attractions. So yeah. it'll be excellent. So if you've made it this far in the video, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. You do not want to miss out on the Japan videos we have coming out. As of now, every single Friday for the foreseeable future, there's gonna be Japan vlogs. And bonus episodes. Ooh, and some little bonus episodes. Mm. So make sure you keep an eye out for those because they'll be popping up in between our vlog series. Mm. 
So also, if you've liked this video, give it a like, give it a comment. You know, any engagement on this video really helps it get shown to more people. And the more people that show up, the more people enjoy us. And the more motivation it gives us to continue to post, continue to do all this. And to be honest, we really enjoy it. Mm. So if you've got any recommendations for us, leave them down in the comments section. Anything you want us to see, do, eat, yeah, eat. drink, yeah. anything. Um, if you've been there or you can't get there and you want us to go and see what it's like, we'll, we'll check it out. Yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on the comments of this video. So if you have any recommendations, be sure to leave them down there. Yeah. So. Anyway guys, on that note, mm. thank you for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next Japan video. Next week. Bye. Bye.